Okay, so Q and A time. Yes, we've known each other for a little while now. You know, we were stuck with each other for a few more hours. So uh -huh. We can ask each other a few direct questions. So we're just gonna ask each other questions. Yeah, and you answer hundred percent honestly. Of course. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Uh, first question. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, tell me about your first sexual feelings with someone. <laughs> oh God. Um, okay, let me think. His name was Kaur Aftab Chauhan. Wow, that's a long name. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we were at this summer camp, okay, um, and he was a swimmer. Don't go by the name. He was really beautiful. Okay, he had the most beautiful chlorine bleached hair, and he had green eyes. And because he was a swimmer, he had to shave his arms and legs off hair, you know, to improve his time. So he looked like the most gorgeous dolphin. I'm not joking. And my friend Alicia had the biggest crush on him. So one day I was going back uh, to my room, and he walked up beside me. Okay, and I was like, you know, you should ask Alicia out because she has a massive crush on you. And he said. That's too bad because I have a crush on you. And I swear to God, I freaked the fuck out because I didn't know what to do. I thought he was so fine. And then he asked me out a few days later and I pretended like I didn't like him at all because I was so afraid of what I might do. <laughs> anyway, so I went to the swimming competitions to watch him swim around. And uh, at the end of summer, we kind of wrote these declarations of love to each other and promised to stay in touch and meet again soon. Wow. So, uh, did you? No, of course not. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, this is the appropriate time to tell you that I just happen to be an excellent swimmer. Even though I don't have those green eyes and shit. <laughs> oh my god, make a note of that. <laughs> okay, my turn. Um, have you ever been in love? Mm, yeah. Okay, uh, next question. So wait, what, what wait. We can give one word answers. Yeah, why not? After I went into such great detail about my first sexual feelings. Please, okay. These two things are very different. I mean, I, I could tell you all about my sexual feelings, but hmm. you know, love is different. What if I asked you about love? I would have lied, but at least it would have made a great story. See, exactly. L love is a lot more complex. Huh? It's, it's, it's like God. I mean, it's everywhere. I see it, I feel it, but I, I, I don't know if another person could hand it to me. Yeah. Yeah, un unfortunately, I think I know what you mean. For what it's worth, I'll tell you about my first sexual feelings that were experienced in an obsessive relationship with Miss July, 2005. <laughs> wow. You, you know Playboy, right? Of course I know Playboy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, my, my turn. Uh, what really pisses you off? Oh God, everything pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, like what? Um, okay, you know when you're on the street and these random men just start singing a song when you're walking by? What the hell is that? Who are you trying to impress? Is that supposed to impress me? It just really pisses me off. Yeah, I've done that. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, you know, I, it, I really hate that at the border there's a war going on since forever and nobody knows what to do about it. And, and I hate how the media is always trying to control your mind. It's like this new form of very subtle fascism. And, oh yeah, this one. You know, every time I travel and I'm wearing even like any, any Indian accessory, like a bindi or a bangle, or I do the Indian head nod, or, you know, if I speak even slightly loudly, everybody's like, oh, that's so cute, that's so Indian. It just really pisses me off. I don't know why. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, my turn. What's the problem for you? You, probably. What? No, really, okay. So, uh, so I, I had this thought like a week ago that mm. that's kind of a problem. What is it? So, uh, do, do you believe in reincarnation? Yeah, I guess on some level the idea is interesting. Yeah, so it seems like a lot of people are talking about past life and all that. And even if you don't believe in it, we all have a certain notion of this external soul, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, basically my thought is that if our origin is way back to the beginning of human history mm. in some way, where did all these current souls come from? I mean, the Earth's population 50,000 years ago was not even a million people. And 10,000 years ago, it was just a few million. And mm. now it's 7 billion. So, which is 5,000 to 1 spread of each soul. And, yeah, which is just like a blip in the Earth's time. And at best, we're just like a small fraction of the original soul. I mean, yeah, is, is that why we all feel so scattered all the time? So that's a problem? Yeah, I, I know it's a scattered thought, but which is all the more reason it makes more sense, right? Maybe, yeah.